Welcome to Learn Apps. Now we are going to see how to copy the purchase order and cancel the purchase order. We have created the purchase order number 11. So now what we do is we will copy the purchase order. We don't need to assume that you want to create a purchase order. The purchase order information is similar to the purchase order what we have created already. In this case, if this is applicable, you don't need to create the purchase order from the scratch. You just simply select the purchase order and copy the purchase order. In the practical, uh, at real time, if you want to create any purchase order which is similar or almost similar to the purchase order what you have created in past or already, we just call the purchase order, you are going to copy the purchase order. We are going to see how to copy the purchase order. Just select the purchase order, what are the purchase order you want to copy, go to tools and click copy document. <coughs> what system will do is, I have enabled automatic document numbering for purchase order. What system will do it? System will assign the next document number. The next document number, it's not 12 because I have used the 12. So it should be 13. Let us see. Just click OK. System has created purchase order number 13. Now we can see the purchase order number 13 and which is in a incomplete status. Now. The rest of the things are same. You can go, you can go and review the item. Of course, you can modify. If you want to modify, you can change the quantity or price or whatever you want. I have said already, at transaction level, all are modifiable. You want to create, you can create a one more quantity and promise date. You can change the date or need by date or you can keep the same date. If you want to keep the same date, keep the single, change the quantity. <clears throat> One more thing I forgot to mention. <clears throat> when you are going to create accounting information, when you are going to create an inventory organization and accounting information, if you don't attach the operating unit, you will get an error called saying invalid in the operating unit is invalid. When you are going to define inventory organization, there is a organization parameter called accounting information. Operating unit, operating unit, attaching the operating unit is an optional field. If you don't attach, if you are going to, when you are going to create a purchase order, if you come to shipment, you get an error saying that end operating unit is invalid. Ensure that you attach the operating unit. Okay, come back to the point. Now we just copy the purchase order number 11. System has created number 13. Go to distribution if you want. You can review the distribution. <coughs> It takes time and system is defaulting from a purchase organization parameter. We are not creating item for project. If you have enabled the project, you can create. We will see later how to create a purchase order for project. Now, I forgot to mention the other one. And the more tab, go to more tab. There is a match approval level. Two way, three way, four way. What is the difference between these three ways? Two way means where invoice quantity is equal to purchase order quantity. Three way means where invoice quantity is equal to purchase order quantity and received quantity. The four way means where invoice quantity is equal to order quantity, received and accepted quantities. So we need to see, we are, we are creating the purchase order in a simple way. There's a direct delivery, it's a two way. You can create whatever the way you want. If you want, I can write a separate article on how to use the three different match for a match approval, two way, three way, four ways. And accrual invoice match option, what it does, we have a two option, purchasing PO and receipt. If you select the PO, sooner PO is created and approved, we can create an invoice against the purchase order. If it is receipt, we can create an invoice only after we receive the goods or receive the services. After we do the, we create a receipt, then only we can create an invoices. That's an invoice match option. <coughs> now, let us complete the transactions. Go to approve and approve it because this person has got an approval of up to thousand pounds. It's about only four fifty pounds, so he can approve it because one is can approve checkbox has been enabled. Save okay. Now the status has been approved. The one more thing I forgot to say: <coughs> invoice view action history. It will show you. Say example, this purchase order is more than thousand pound. It will go to the next approval because that's how it has been configured. You can see here. You can see enquiry view action history. You can see the person who is going to approve or who is your immediate approver. 
And another point is, you can see view document. If you click the view document, system will open the standard purchase order. I have an issue here, the PDF issue in this instance, so I'm not able to show you the demo. Otherwise, you just go to Enquire, click view document. You can see your purchase order in a PDF format. Based on the configuration, HTML or PDF, it is in a purchasing option window. And we have configured as a PDF, it will open in a PDF format. You can try in your instance when you after you watch this video. Okay, now we have created, simply we have copied the document. So it has been created in a simple way, it's a faster manner. And another thing is tools, preferences. You can create a preferences which will be copied to the shipment and distribution level if you want. You can do it in advance. So same preference will be copied. <coughs> what is the rest of the... Now, let us see how to cancel the purchase order. Close the window. Query back your purchase order, what you want to cancel it. Let us cancel what we have just created, number 13. This is, is one of the simplest way. Go to tool, cancel, click cancel. System will ask you to enter the reason for cancel. Just enter the reason. You can send a note to supplier and you can cancel it. We can even enter the reasons. When you are going to cancel, say example, when it says that system will give you a warning, we cannot call it back. Say OK. So now we cannot see number 13 here. What it means? Closed or cancelled POs cannot be seen here. Where we can see then? We just go to purchase order summary, call the purchase order number that is 13. We can see here it is status is approved. There is a checkbox called cancel that you can see it here. We are going to see there is a new functionality in R12 buyer work center. Now we are going to see in the next video how to create a purchase order using buyer work center. Thanks for watching this.